cooking some sweet West African Ogusi soup. Remember, would you like to tell us more? Yes, guys, these are the ingredients we're going to be using to make the Ogusi soup. Spinach, beef, oil of chicken, chopped tomatoes, pepper, palm oil, onion, ground Ogusi, ground cave crayfish, and maggi. So my sister is now going to... So guys, I'm going to put the palm oil in the cooker. So while the palm oil is going to melt, my brother is going to blend the chopped tomatoes and onions with pepper. So guys, these are going to go in and blend it. Guys, so now that I've killed all the money, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also give us a big thumbs up. Also, you don't want to miss any of our videos. That's why I'm telling you to hit the notification bell. So guys, just to warn you, make sure you be careful when the palm oil is cooking because it will be popping. So guys, my brother and my sister is going to be adding three um, magis. And guys, you don't have to scrunch it up and make it big. You just can pour it in. You're just going to mix it so it can get anywhere. Make sure you keep stirring or stirring. than this one because I'll say this one guys while that's cooking I'll tell you a bit more about this ground crayfish is very good for this soup just to give that taste that you're looking for especially ground agussi this really helps with the agussi and it's very popular in West Africa let me just say that if you guys like agussi make sure you subscribe because that's the first thumbs So guys, we're going to be adding ground crayfish into the soup. Yep. So we're going to leave this for one to two minutes, then after, we'll add the soup, ground with the soup. Make sure you stir and stir and mix. We don't have this in East Africa, so that's why 
This is West Africa and very popular. So I'll leave this for one to two minutes.
So when the soup get ready, we're gonna be adding the beef and the boiler chicken. So the reason why we're gonna put these first before the spinach is that we need to um, wait for this to be cooked in the inside. And then I'll just will add this for maybe three to five minutes. Did you know that this is pumpkin seed? Well, yes, it is. Ground the pussy. So you can get pumpkin anywhere. Some people will cook the pussy differently. We already added this in, so this will be going away. So guys, we left the pussy to cook. I'm going to be adding this beef to the pussy soup. So guys, we're gonna be leaving this to cook um, from five to ten minutes, so the inside of the beef and boiler chicken can be cooked. While you're that cooking, guys, please subscribe and like, like share, and, share. and press the notification bell yeah. so that you don't miss any one video. <laughs> yeah. It's alright. Just go on our channel, see our videos, click on the one you miss, then watch it. it. Yeah. Simple, just a few clicks. Yeah. What time? Next time, whatever it's called, I'm thinking. Guys, when that's done cooking for this, we're gonna be adding. Yeah. It's very hard right now. Yeah, that's because if you turn it over right here, it's ice. It kind of needs to melt, as you so, guys can see. Just to let you guys know, you can use frozen spinach or fresh. Come on guys, subscribe and like. Um, just to let you guys know, in Nigeria do you use over beef? For the legacy soup. Oh wait, taste that. Oh yeah. wait, that's so nice. Mm -hmm. Guys, please subscribe and like. Anyway, if you guys know that a gussy soup, if you guys don't know that a gussy soup is not yummy, well make sure you taste it. It's it is the delicious thing I ever tasted in my life. Who you knows? Maybe you can kind of try making this at home. Yeah, and like I said before, if you made it, please, 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 show it down below. How did it go? Because we always want to see, and we'll tell you guys how it gone for us down below. And guys, if you want some comments, just go down below. Type. Mm -hmm. This might take a bit of a while to cook. Not much. As you can see now, it's not plain like before because we added beef uh, and boiler chicken. So we just need to wait and once you put this in, you're going to leave it to cook. For and another then, like 5 to 10 minutes. Yeah, and then it'll be ready. I'm pretty sure it'll be ready. So it's time to add spinach. Yes, yeah, spinach, spinach. Spinach. spinach! As you can see, the spinach is quite icy, so it's best that you leave it to melt. Because the soup is very, very hot. Yeah. So if it's hot, it'll be quick for it to melt. Yep. Instead of what <laughs> Spinach is one of the top. Ingredients were meant to be using in the gussy soup, yeah. or either or going to be soup. I would like So now we'll just be leaving it. To cook. So 
As you can see, while the Make sure when you're adding three cups of pounded yam, you put the exact same amount of water you did. Because if you put too much water, what's the point of even putting a little bit of pounded yam? So now I'm going to mix it. Another video every weekend. It might be every Friday, but I'm pretty sure it's every weekend. So I'm going to be waiting for the pounded yam to get ready to cook. Guys, people use many different stuff like garay. You can use garay. A lot of people in Nigeria use garay, but we um, use pounded yam for the dusty And they call it in Nigeria ever. They call it abafa. In London, we call it pounded yam. Yeah, pounded yam. Pounded yam. It's very hot. This is how it looks like now. Guys, as I said, you don't only have to use pounded yam and garay and eba to eat with um, a gussy soup. My mum is from East Africa. East Africa. She prefers to have sweets. Also semolina and boiled cassava. As we said, we'll be uploading videos every week. And to make sure you guys watch it, and if you missed it, don't need to worry because the minute you see it on our channel, you won't even complain again that you missed anything. So guys, the pound of jam is ready. So guys, do you want to have a taste test? Yay! We're about to have a taste test and I would like to be doing all of our videos. Talking of taste test, am I ready eating some pound of jam? This tastes so good. So guys, let's also hand it to us to have a taste test. I really did. I thought the album is ready. Guys, do you think it's nice? Well, it's only one way to find out. Dig in! Let's dig in! <laughs> it's so hot. 
So be careful. Mm. Mm. That's so nice. This guy, this is so delicious. Mm -hmm. I recommend you to taste this. It's so nice. Mmm, this is delicious, guys. So, guys, we're gonna end this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Sure, and make sure you share the video. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.